it's Lon Seidman, and we're looking at yet another Chromebook, this one from Toshiba. This is their Chromebook 2, not to be confused with the Samsung Chromebook 2. Uh, and the reason I found this one interesting is that it's available with a 1920 by 1080 uh, full HD IPS display in 13 inches. Now, what does an IPS display mean? Well, it means that you get a better quality display uh, over some of the other Chromebooks out there, and you also have a much better viewing angle on the display as well. So this is the kind of panel that is in a more expensive notebook computer than this one. Now, this one retails at 329 right now. It's got four gigabytes of RAM on board. They also have another one in the same form factor with a lower resolution display and only two gigabytes of RAM for 249. So if you want a little bit extra memory for running more things at once and a nicer display, uh, 329 will get you into this one. And this display is noticeably better uh, than some of the other Chromebook displays out there. You, you'll see though, it is very reflective, but uh, it is very sharp. Uh, the colors are very crisp and it really, if you put this next to any other Chromebook, uh, you'll definitely notice the difference. The only problem is, is that at this full HD resolution with a 13 inch display, everything is really tiny. So I don't know if you can see down here, but like the little shutdown notice is very small. And even when you uh, get into the device, you'll see that it is, you know, everything is, it needs to be zoomed in perhaps if you have eyesight problems. So I think for kids who are primarily the target market for this device, I don't think you'll have an issue there. Now, like all the other Chromebooks we've been looking at recently, uh, this one has a Bay Trail Intel processor at 2.16 gigahertz. And uh, what that means is that it's, it's fast, but it, it, the other Chromebooks that were out like a year or two ago were faster because they were using a different Intel processor that was tuned more for performance than battery life. Uh, what a lot of these Chromebook manufacturers have been doing is deciding to really focus more on battery life, which comes at the expense of performance. The uh, Acer C720, which is still my all-time favorite Chromebook, uh, does perform much better because it has a better Intel processor on board, but it's also uh, going to not last as long. So if you're you know, aiming this at a student who's going to be in school taking notes all day, uh, they'll probably want the battery life perhaps over the performance, but it's not bad. I mean, it certainly uh, loads pages quickly. Um, and you see, this is a page with uh, you know, a lot of ads and flash and everything else, and it seems to be uh, keeping up quite nicely. So it does have a, a good feel to it. And I think you know, if you're looking for something really to do what a Chromebook does, uh, the performance will be adequate and you'll also get decent battery life. So that is something to keep in mind there. Uh, hardware wise, it's uh, pretty simple and actually much like all the other Chromebooks out there, it's got a very nice full size keyboard here. It's very comfortable to type on. It's got a very uh, Apple-like appearance with the recessed keys and everything. Really nice trackpad that's uh, very uh, accurate and uh, feels more expensive than uh, the computer is. And you'll be pleased to know, especially if you have kids, that the, uh, the whole casing here is textured. So it's very uh, easy to hold in your hand and not uh, uh, slip out. It's about three pounds, so it's a little bit heavier perhaps than some of the other uh, notebooks of this kind out there, but uh, that is all battery, and that's what gives you that uh, full day of usage. It's got a headphone uh, microphone jack here, a USB 3.0, and an HDMI output, as well as a Kensington lock, so you can uh, secure it to a desk or something to prevent it from disappearing. Uh, and you also have a USB 2.0 port on this side, as well as an SD card slot here, and of course, you've got power over there. So uh, all in all, another decent Chromebook. These are really good Good, very inexpensive computers if you know what you're getting into. And I've done a lot on Chrome OS, so you can check out some of my other videos about that. Uh, but basically, if you're looking for a Chromebook uh, and you want a really nice display and you don't want to spend more than $350, uh, this one is probably the one to take a look at. This is Lon Seibin. Thanks for watching.